Yes, we are back filming. I'm moisturizing my skin with the Tatcha the Water Cream that I got from a friend Valerie. And we are here today to try a new viral, or not a new, no, a viral foundation on TikTok, Instagram, it's just everywhere. Now, you know when you are bored and start scrolling on the internet or TikTok, Instagram, you find stuff that you don't need. <laughs> you don't need it. No. And what I definitely don't need, it's another foundation. But did it stop me? No, it did not. Because of the comments. Because of the hype. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't try it. We are here today to try the viral tear tear foundation. Yes, we are. And if you want to see and hear my thoughts and see how it's going to wear on my oily skin, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I saw this everywhere on TikTok or on Instagram, both actually apps, and I was very curious to try it. Now, this foundation is, I think, Korean brand, but it's very popular in Japan. And I haven't seen people here in Sweden talk about it, but I love cushion foundations. And this is what it is. It's a cushion foundation. I really enjoy cushion foundations. I think I still have one cushion foundation. This is the Lava Art cushion foundation. And I've been having this for years now. This is definitely expired something. I wouldn't put this on my face, <laughs> expired 21. But I use this for years. And especially I love using it when I was in a hurry, wanted the full coverage very long lasting on my oily or combination skin and also it has SPF 50 or SPF in it and I am very bad at using SPF I some on during the summer I'm better of using it but I'm, I need to be better I know but that's also why I like cushion foundation because they do have SPF and this one has SPF 2 I, th I have it in three two shades 21 neutral ivory and also 23 neutral sand on the website where i purchased it here in sweden i will put the link down below they only had three shades they also had i think porcelain lighter one and these two i think 23 n is the dark deepest that i could get but i know they have i think around nine different shades and also let's just see it's tear tear mosque fit red cushion uh, it's brightening and anti-wrinkle attaching cushion foundation keeps makeup fresh and long hours with lightweight powder and skincare sub substance um, prevents smudge of makeup in the mask 24 hour makeup we are going to swatch both of them look at the packaging i mean the packaging is everything now my light is actually reflecting on it but the packaging is beautiful and it has a mirror and then it has a puff and you open it oh no so I can't see on this side let's peel it off Let me see what I'm doing. There it is. And I love traveling with cushion foundations because I use this puff also when I apply my concealer or cream bronzer when I use it, but I love the packaging. We are going to open the second one, 23N. That's a little bit deeper. Now, I've seen people really loving this foundation, but the downside that I could see was that it oxidized. And I usually doesn't bother me if it oxidized a little bit, especially if the foundation is a little bit lighter. But I do like to have my foundations one shade deeper. Okay, this is the other color shade. Let's just take and compare these two. 
they look very similar so this one is 21 ivory and this is 23 sand let's watch Ooh. 21 Hmm, not bad. And 23, let's... We'll see which one I will use. But 21 and 23. I think maybe 21. Let's go with a lighter shade today. But they say a little bit goes a long way, so we'll see about that. But I will keep uh, this one deeper if I when I get a little bit more tan but I think we are going to go with 21 okay so I am going to prom my skin I do like priming now I have a lot one of my favorite combo when it comes priming it's the Nasamarix products but I'm not going to use that today I do want to go in with the one that I've been using lately and it's the one size Secure the blur. Now you can't get this if you're in Sweden. I got this from my friend Valerie. Love the setting spray. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but I love the setting spray. I wish I could purchase it here in Sweden. Sorry for my nails. I'm going to fix them today. That's why I also am applying the foundation right now. It's 12, 11, no, it's 11.55 a.m. So a little bit goes a long way, they say, so let's see. Full coverage, I love full coverage. I want... Okay. I have an even skin tone, big pores, combination skin, dry patches, oily patches. We are going to apply it on one side. Okay, so the puff is okay. Definitely not my favorite though. Okay, so I feel like I, if I move it a little bit too much, I do make streaks with the edges of this puff because it's very, uh, what's called, stiff. That's the word I'm looking for. I applied a little bit, but it's definitely full coverage. I really like that feels comfortable doesn't feel oily doesn't feel wet i look very pale but it's because of the shade we are going to make it a little bit deeper it matched my neck and that's why i always like to go a shade deeper than my body because i look very sick i really enjoy this foundation i'm not a big fan of the puff because it is a little bit too stiff for my liking but you can go with all or with the sponge if you like to but it definitely smoothed out everything. I really, really enjoy how it looks. It definitely sinked into my skin. Hmm. I can't even see that I have foundation on my nose, which is really, really good. Not big fan, like I said, about the shade. But, I mean, with the bronzer and everything, I think it will be really nice. But I like it. It's very light. Really, really love the foundation so far. Let's finish the makeup look. For the under eyes, we are going to go in with the Huda Beauty Cherry Powder or Cherry Blossom Powder. This is the powder I usually use, so we are not changing a lot because we are testing the foundation. And the rest of the face, we are going to go in with one size beauty powder and set a big fluffy brush, just a little bit of the powder. A little bit of Fenty Beauty bronzer in shade Private Island. Morphe and Jaclyn Hill big brush. I love for just setting my bronzer a little bit. We are going in with Dior blush in shade 
rosy glow. For the highlighter, I am going to go in with the new Anastasia Glow Seeker highlighter. That it's beautiful now. I've used it a lot, but look at that. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the dragon. I'm obsessed with dragons. And I know this dragon will disappear because I'm using this highlighter a lot, but I just love the shade and it looks so natural. Use the Smashbox Intense Sh Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this primer. And just use it a little bit. We're not going to go crazy today with eye makeup look, though I do like to have colorful makeup looks, but we are going to go natural today. Natasha Denona, we are going to go in I Need Nude Palette. Now this shade broke, unfortunately, but I still love this um, palette. So I'm just going to go in with Mesh Eyeshadow and the Crease. Okay, so my skin looks very smooth while I'm applying the eyeshadow. I can see that my skin looks smooth and I like how this foundation is looking on my skin though. It has that nice satin finish, even maybe it doesn't show on the camera, but I can see that it has because I'm a matte foundation girl. Go in with Silhouette just to deep up the edges a little bit. We're taking the Delia that's broken. Just press that a little bit on the eyelid. Tender for the lower lash line. Kaya Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil for the eyebrows. Okay, so we are going to set everything. First, I want to go in with Fix Plus, just a little bit. That's it. And I am going to go in with, where is that setting spray? No. Yes, we are going to go in with the Makeup Mecca Stayer setting spray. The mist a little bit aggressive. The setting spray is good, but the mist is aggressive. Okay, let's curl the lashes. And one of my favorite mascaras is the Lash Sky High Mascara now from Maybelline. I have to say that I have oily eyelids and most of the mascaras are transforming under my low lash lines and I look like a raccoon at the end of the day. Now, even waterproof mascaras do that on my eyes, except this one and the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Those two, this, this one and that one are just, you know, everything. I'm going to use one of my favorite lip liners, is the Rebecca Stella lip liner. Now, I did purchase two lip liners from Chanel and two lip products that is kind on my channel also very viral products i'm a little bit late to the game but who says you can't use it this is the shade rebecca stella shade seven now i'm going to go in with this urban decay text them liquid color um, this kind of lipstick, but shake it. And this is long wearing, really long wearing. Now I only have this shade, but I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot at work. Look at this, this color. Takes them. Half magic brand and this is the color magic magic drip product but it's the cherub cherub i don't know the color but look at this 
it's stunning it's beautiful on the lips and I like I really love it I'm going to apply it on top mm, look at that shine and now it's 12 23 well let's just say 12 30 and I really this oxidized the foundation definitely oxidized it got a little bit deeper um, so the color this color is perfect for me right now when I get a little bit tan I will use the other one but I really like how it looks it settled nice onto the skin now there is a little bit of a patch here and patch here and I think it's because it's because I think I moved it a little bit with my finger when I applied it or with this sponge, edge of the sponge. But let's just see if we can touch up. Now I'm scared because I really love this makeup and I want it to stay. Took a little bit of the foundation. Is this? Oh, this is the deeper shade. God, what did I do? Let's go. Where is the other one? There it is. I went into, I saw that the mirror wall had this plastic on top. Okay, so let's see if we can put a little bit on back of the hand because this is. Let's see if we can just touch up a little bit. No, 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 no. Mm, didn't really work. Let's powder it. Okay, so it didn't really work as I as I thought it would, but. I'll need to think about that next time when I apply this foundation, not to, to put it even. But so far, I really enjoy how it looks. It's definitely more at full, medium full coverage foundation. You can build it up, but I really, really enjoy how it looks. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel sticky. Uh, definitely oxidized. I know I said that before. I'm going to fix my hair. I don't care about it right now. But I really, really enjoy how it looks on my skin. And I'm 40 soon, in a couple of months. So I do have bad skin. And my eyebrows are living their own life. But I love the lip combo. Now, this, this is the pro look. We are going to wear this all day. I'm going to go and fix my nails at 6 p.m. So when I'm back, I will do a check-in. But so far, I'm really enjoying how everything looks. It didn't settle into my fine lines. My pores are less visible. Uh, everything else looks smooth and really, really nice. I really, my skin looks like my skin, but better. It does have this nice sheen of glow to it. So it's not very matte, which uh, I think it's fine. I love matte foundations, but this is definitely like natural skin. I know <laughs> but so far so good so we are going to wear this I'm going to wear my glasses too and see how it's going to look under it under my glasses but I think it will re be removed there but we'll see so see you in a couple of hours or in a second okay we are back and whew, it's it's 8 10 p.m. and I'll be having this foundation on for 10 hours no eight hours actually and I just came home finished my done, uh, did my nails I just came home after doing my nails and also going being and also our shopping so let's see how everything looks now I do look shiny I do look shiny but that's nothing new let's just take off the excess so there is Okay, but this looks really, really nice. I really, really like how this looks, this foundation looks on my skin and it felt very comfortable. Everything else, everything is on, my bronzer, my blush, everything is on my face. Of course, when I had my glasses, uh, the foundation is off. The nose looks good. Uh, also, this patch is still here, but it's less visible because it feels like as the longer the foundation was on my face, the lo the better it uh, it got, actually. And I really, really love how it looks. It really looks good. I really enjoy this foundation. It's definitely one of my favorite. And the lipstick is still there. You can see. 
it's one of my favorite foundation definitely going to wear uh, travel with I do not like I do not like the sponge where is it yeah I lost it I don't like this applicator I love the color and everything I, I wish it was a little bit thicker and softer I feel like it's a little bit too dense for my liking we'll see maybe I will start liking it more I mean it's not terrible but I think I need to there is a learning curl curl with it but I really enjoy the foundation I really enjoy the foundation. I love the packaging it looks so damn good love the mirror everything looks really really nice and I do like it De definitely like it. especially if you have mature skin and imperfections and need something that's full coverage okay i'm going to go and uh, wash uh, my face take off my clothes watch a movie and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this don't forget to subscribe and like this video leave a comment down below if you try this foundation or anything from tier tier let me know down below and i hope i see you in my next video i love you all bye